Welcome to another rare collection of beautiful historical photos that I have carefully curated, sound added, remastered, and sometimes recolored for you. This is Mary Langley Bruce and her Griffin Bruxello's dog, Cupid, in 1905. The hat fashion of that time showed early on that with the right marketing, any nonsense can be sold. This is Lieutenant John A. McCready, dressed to protect himself against minus 80 degrees Fahrenheit, minus 62 degrees Celsius, when flying at high altitudes like 33,000 feet. He is also considered to be the father of aviator-style sunglasses. On a campground in Lethbridge, Alberta, someone is parking his beautiful Airstream travel trailer. Made from aluminum. Canada, 1970. In 1943 and other years, you could find many posters of that kind to teach people to keep their mouths shut about anything secret that could be used by the enemy. Former Olympic alpine ski racer and model Susie Chafee in 1969. Maybe some can still remember her Susie Chapstick ads? How newspapers were printed in 1942. And this is only for one page. Here you have Harry Crosby at work, controlling tons of switches and buttons inside the signal cabin in 1961. A shop in Ireland in 1910. Nowadays, the goods placed outside would magically disappear in no time. Gloria Cooper in 1966, a Vanderbilt model, and the photo was taken for Vogue. Two miners are busy constructing something out of wood. Canada. Photo of young Nootka Indians taken sometime around 1930 in Canada. A group portrait taken at the Wallace Shipyards in Vancouver in 1916 inside a huge ship made entirely out of wood. Can you spot what's wrong here? When using a typewriter while showering, it's inevitable to wear a shower cap. The simple housing for about 20 lumberjacks in circa 1900. Miss Philadelphia, Ruth Malcolmson, circa 1900. <music> the 
the good old days when immigrants had to spend time in quarantine. A go-kart is getting pushed around in Atlantic City in 1905, USA. A photo of the main street of Belterbet, Cavan County, Ireland, around 1899. No cars, no noise. Yankee Dugout, 1924. Tea Time with the Brown Sisters, California's most famous twins. Photo taken in the 1990s. The engineer and designer Walter Johnson traveling the Seward Peninsula on the Pup Mobile in 1912. Testing tea in 1925. Today, the process is still the same, but not the quality of the tea. Jitney Ride, for 15 cents around the fairgrounds. Canada, 1950. Knoxville, Tennessee. Parcel post wagons, horses, and carriers lined up for a photo shoot with their postmaster. 1913 USA. <laughs> 